Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is part three in my series of three videos talking about DJI flight controllers, the Compass and GPS system. In part one, we looked at the flight controller behavior specifically and talked about how that works and why it changes from GPS mode to ATTI. In part two, we talked about the compass sensor and why that is one of the most important sensors on your aircraft and why you can get problems and the best practices around calibrating your compass and what to avoid such as metal and any areas that contain large amount of metal when you take off. In this part three, we are going to talk about GPS because there are some things you also need to understand about this as well. On screen you can see there's a scenario set up with a nice small DJI Spark flying in the field with lots of GPS satellites above it. In this scenario the aircraft is receiving lots of signals from all of these GPS satellites and you will find it will have really good GPS position hold. The thing that gets people confused about GPS specifically is they always say I had lots of satellites why did my aircraft start to fly off or behave strangely? Well actually when you look at GPS a little bit closer the number of satellites actually isn't the most important factor. What actually is most important is how separate those satellites are in the sky and that is a calculation known as HDOP or horizontal degrees of precision. This is how accurate the GPS data the aircraft receiving is. If we were to look closer you would see that the reality is in this scenario the aircraft is taking its GPS data from these satellites listed in red. These satellites have a nice large amount of separation between them and because of the way GPS works the larger the distance between each satellite the more accurate the GPS data will be. When all the satellites are really close together it will struggle to get a difference between the signals and it won't then be able to give itself good positioning data. I could go into a lot more detail about how GPS figures this all out however the reality is for the purpose of this you only need to really understand that the way GPS works is it picks up data from a number of satellites but those satellites also need to have a good amount of separation between them. If we now shift to a more urban environment you can see that the aircraft is now between some buildings and its access to the sky has actually been restricted. In this scenario it would actually be picking up much less satellites but there are still 10 available for it to use. Your aircraft may fly very well in this environment however it could suddenly change its behaviour, lose GPS and fly into a building. The reason for this as I mentioned in the section before is because of the lack of separation between the satellites. If we look in the middle all of the satellites are very close together and whilst the GPS sat count is very high what it does mean is the HDOP or the horizontal degrees of precision is very high as well which means all of the GPS are close together and it's not getting that high quality GPS signal. DJI don't show a measure of HDOP specifically however in this scenario what you would notice is your aircraft show 10 or 12 satellites for instance the signal bar for GPS would show nothing and often people say well I had lots of satellites but why did my GPS stop working this is specifically the reason for it here because although it's getting a lot of satellites they are too close together and it's not getting high quality GPS position data. This scenario can also happen in a perfectly open area because another thing to be aware of is GPS satellites are not in a fixed position. They are constantly rotating around the earth and constantly moving. So whilst you can be in a fully open environment and you could be receiving 16 satellites, if those satellites are very close together it means you're not getting that separation and you've got a really poor HDOP and it could lose lock at any any time. This can also be the case on different days because of the satellites are always moving just because today you're getting good GPS signal it doesn't mean you're going to get good GPS signal tomorrow you may happen to go to that flight location when all of the satellites happen to be quite close because of the position of the earth relative to the satellites. 
This is just not something you can control. It's something you just need to be aware of. And it explains why your aircraft can suddenly drop at a GPS when you're still showing a reasonable or a high satellite count. The basics overall are that the satellite count alone is not the most important measurement and actually the separation between the satellites and the quality of the GPS signal is. If you were flying in this environment you could again have a sudden loss of GPS and your aircraft could start moving around by itself uncontrollably and again this would just simply be down to it not getting a good enough GPS signal. As a recap, HDOP is how accurate the data is your aircraft is receiving. It's both the geometric quality and the accuracy of the horizontal position of the aircraft. So it's worth remembering it's not how many satellites your aircraft is picking up, but it's actually how close together those satellites are in the sky and how much quality data your GPS can pick up. The smaller number of DOP, the better the geometry and actually of GPS. Reality is we do not see a DOP number on your DJI flight controller, but this is simply represented by your GPS bars. Satellite count alone does not ensure accuracy. And again, avoid trees, large buildings, canyons or gorges because all of these will restrict your aircraft's access to the sky, which means it's not able to get a good view of all of the available satellites. Finally, when separation is poor between the satellites, it could randomly enter ATTI unexpectedly, even though your satellite count is very high. And that is it for this video. I hope it's had some information that has been interesting and it's at least given you a better understanding of how these systems work. Please check out part one and part two if you want to know about the basic flight modes and how the compass affects flight as well. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you've liked what you've seen, please do subscribe to the channel. On screen are some of the companies that make the products that I use on a daily basis and I personally recommend. Some of these companies have also supported the channels over the years as well. If you would like to purchase from DJI for instance, there are some links in the description for this video. For the ones who are not, please do go to their website and check out some of their products because they really do make some fantastic gear. Again, please do subscribe, thank you for watching and I'll do another video again soon.